we're up at the campground, so we kind of wanted to invite Trump to come to the campground. How'd that go? Uh, well, we didn't get to do it. They told us we couldn't make a sign, so we can't I invite him. Has he, uh, you think he's ever been to a campground? Uh, no. We're 2,000 miles from the Texas border. How does immigration impact you and what's wrong with people coming in and fleeing political persecution and crime in their home country to make a better life here? Yeah, well, I think um, these countries should be responsible for their people. But I'm wondering why people in South Carolina so far from the border are so worked up about it. Uh, only thing I can say there is um, they're coming through the, the Texas border there, and the property and people that live around there, you know, they're Americans, and I think they're suffering. How come? Um, I don't know. I just think it's a hardship on those people. To have people coming into the country? Right. In, in what way? I'm just curious in what way that you would... What would make you think that? Um, I don't know. That's that's just just my opinion, you know. And I think that um, you know it's hurting a lot of these other states when they they having they send the people there. A lot of them are saying, "Well, good, we need the workers, we need people that uh, jobs because unemployment is so low now." Oh, hey, I know that they are good workers. They'll they'll work. I mean, you know, there's plants around here that you know, have the um, Mexicans, and they're hard workers. And I don't have a problem with them. It's just I feel like a lot of them coming across the border illegally is um, criminals, a lot of them. You know, the children that are being brought across are not, um, not being taken care of. Is that right? I, I feel like that once those children get here, you know, there's no telling what happens to them. Well, there, many of them are going to schools because they're coming over as families or they're joining family here. Yeah, well, I think some of them are being exploited too, but I, I mean, I don't have um, statistics on any of that, you know. It's just stuff that but, you believe. Uh, yes. Is there anything at this point that he could do to lose your support? Um, well, basically, I'm Republican. So I have to go with, you know, whoever's on that ticket. Uh, the Democrat, you know, I, it's just a lot of the beliefs that they have is not mine. message.